Uh, so today is not going to be as bad, Ryan, as what we saw yesterday, especially considering we had that snowfall. 37 degrees, and it is feeling like 30 outside with the wind still coming in out of the east at 9 miles per hour. But it's not as bad as what we were just dealing with yesterday with some very gusty winds. Upper 20s and lower 30s up to the north. We've got the rest of us in the mid and upper 30s and down to the Fox Valley and along the lake shore. Winds coming in out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but a few locations seeing a couple of goose eggs out there. Radar has starting to been somewhat quiet, especially considering that just, you know, a couple hours ago we had quite a bit of rainfall and a wintry mix moving across the area. And now we are in between systems. We have the first round that's moving off to the east, and then we have another additional uh, chance of a few rain showers later on this afternoon as the center of low pressure tracks into Wisconsin. And it's a very large system. Snow is still ongoing in parts of Minnesota. They've been dealing with it for uh, over 48 hours. And now closer look here, we still do have a winter weather advisory in effect. Uh, for the next few hours for the risk of some freezing drizzle as we go into the morning hours temperatures being a little bit cooler up to the north but we should start to warm up later this afternoon into the lower 40s then we get into the evening hours and a few light rain stars a shower start to pass through the area and that could bring in just a few sprinkles not a heavy downpour by any means winds also will be a gusty coming in out of the southwest upwards of 30 miles per hour so just a little heads up there but not too bad as what we saw yesterday 4.5 inches of snowfall. That's what we got in Green Bay, and that brings us to the 12th snowiest winter or snow season on record. We normally see only about 51 and a half inches of snow for the season. We're up to 74 inches, and we only see about three inches of snow for the whole month of April. So we're above average as well, and maybe you might even see more snowfall this weekend. 42 degrees for a high temperature today. We have winds out of the southwest, 15 to 20 miles per hour gusts near 30 and then for tonight we will cool down to an overnight low of 33 a stray shower up to the north but most of us should start to dry out winds out of the southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour 41 on monday additional stray shower up to the north woods and then on sunday in our next system we have to monitor could be rain could be snow could be both it really depends on the track and how much cold air gets sucked into the storm and then at least we get back up into the 50s monday and tuesday with additional chance of some rain showers as we get towards wednesday and thursday so i think now we're going back to the april showers bring may flowers instead yeah. of because i was looking at my plots uh pots yesterday and i see my chives growing and there's snow on the ground typically you don't combine those two things together so hopefully they will eventually sprout and be fully ready for you to start cooking with. Oh, of course. Make some <laughs> nice pierogies with it. All right, thanks. Gina, we'll come